What's going on, people? Zeta Black here. Salute to everybody for tuning in. I want to talk about Men in Black, um, a franchise that has been around since the late 90s. Uh, Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones, uh, they started the franchise. Now, whether you're a fan of the franchise, that's, you know, again, that's you. You know, but me, I am a very big fan of the first film. I wouldn't really say I'm the biggest fan of the second or even the third. But I did really, really like the first. I think the first one, because of the fact that Will Smith was basically becoming a, a leading star in Hollywood, uh, that was his first time to really star in a film and hit it out of the park. I uh, really got his career going in a super... Well, actually, Bad Boys actually did that. But I think this, he was on his own. You know, he was next to you know a Martin Lawrence in that one. But in this one, he was co-starring with Tommy Lee Jones and he was basically in something that was a bit of bit new you know but I think that Men in Black has has withstood uh Hollywood as far as its style as far as its own uniqueness for a long time now the whole you know aliens against humans I and mean, that's not a new concept okay but the way that the film was made and how it allowed Will Smith to showcase you know his personality I think that what made the franchise stand out. Also, he had a song, whether y'all like Will Smith's music or not, you know, whenever you think about Men in Black, you think about that song, okay? <laughs> and I, I just feel like now with Tessa Thompson, these feminazis and these SJWs who are going in Hollywood and gaming and they're ruining films and TV shows in order to be more inclusive, but they're only as inclusive as as many white women as they can get in positions or let's get some, you know, uh, people from the alternative lifestyles, maybe a few women of color, maybe. And Tessa Thompson is that woman. Now, Tessa Thompson is talented. She's been in Creed. She was in Thor Ragnarok. You know, she has talent. I'm not saying she doesn't, but her and some of these other illogical people who want to now change the name of the franchise to reflect uh your feelings or how you feel about the world that's where we're at that's where we're at this men in black uh international is a reboot of her and chris hemsworth and when i first heard about this i was like really like what is the point of rebooting and rebooting in the fact of you're putting tessa thompson who, again, some people may not feel is dark enough. You do have the colorism community who aren't going to see Tessa Thompson as one of their own. They're going to think that she's too light. She's not black enough. Why is she representing us? And that's what Hollywood is. They put women who are racially ambiguous or biracial, and they're pushing a people of color narrative by using biracials, and especially biracial women like Tessa Thompson. And I'm hearing... You know, people who I do respect, who do reviews of movies and TV shows, praising this as if we're supposed to accept this. This is what inclusion is. Of course, it's women. It's just a female. But, you know, um, they they like the film because it embodies what they feel like it should be. And I was surprised by a review or two that I heard and how they cared more that Tessa Thompson was a representative of black women. But y'all got to understand um, Tessa is is a, is a biracial woman who represents what Hollywood wants women or people of color to be. They want people to be, you know, multiracial, to have no identity. Um, that's what Hollywood is pushing. Whether y'all like what I'm saying or not, you know this is true. Now, I don't speak a lot about these particular topics. You know, maybe I should. If you think I should, leave a comment below. But the reason why I, I don't is because... I'm a very passionate person and when you're passionate and you're making content it takes a lot out of you and it wears on you and I see how it wears on other people when you have to see the entertainment industry utilizing people especially black people in order to push narratives or people who are biracial to push this you know more inclusion for us even though they are very much included. I grew up in an era where women were featured on TV shows, where women were featured in movies. They were the featured act. 
They were co-stars. They weren't looked down upon. From my knowledge, I don't think they were being mistreated. They were seen as stars. But what you have going on right now is you got a lot of people who are basically feeding off of negative energy when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to comic books. They want to be seen. You know, they feel like a franchise like Men in Black should have not only a woman leading the film, but you should change the name. Tessa Thompson is talking about changing it to, uh, what was she trying to change it to? I heard, um, what, humans in black? Like, uh, let's see. Just changing it to different names, exiting the men out. What's funny is that you got X-Men uh, who, you know, um, who are putting out a movie that I have not seen. And I've heard that the movie is god awful. Where you have the Mystique character telling Charles Xavier that they should change the name from X-Men to X-Women because the women are constantly saving the men. This is what they're pushing. And I have been very, I've been very um, happy about the fact that there are women speaking out against this. There are women who are seeing what is going on and they are seeing the narratives that are being pushed. Let me read a little bit from this Variety.com article. It says, Tessa Thompson hopes Men in Black International pushes studios to make more women-led films, as if they haven't already. I grew up watching women's TV shows in the, uh, TV shows in the 90s where women were leads. This doesn't make any sense, but this is what happens when you continue to bend the knee. I have told y'all, get off your knees. Stop bending them. These people will never have enough. They will never have enough. You will never give women like Tessa Thompson and others enough. You know, Tessa Thompson may be a cool person, but for her to say that they're not pushing more female. Let me, let me just say this, though. When it comes to comic books, right? When have women ever cared about comic books, first off? Secondly, when have they ever cared about comic book films? They didn't care until those films became popular. When Women don't care nothing about your channel, your YouTube page, when you're not popping. But as soon as you become popping, here they go. Then they want you to make changes. There are people who've accused me of making changes because more women have been on my platform. But I'm making videos like this. So what changes have been made? I still get women upset in their feelings. So what has changed? Whenever the more popular you become, the more insatiable the appetite to change what ain't broken occurs. And that's exactly what's going on with Men in Black. Say whatever you want about the franchise. Again, my favorite film of the franchise is always be the first one. I don't really care for the second one or the third one. But that doesn't mean that that franchise that was built on the name of MIB, the brand of Men in Black is MIB, Men in Black. It's the brand. You know, the black suits, the shades. That is the brand of it. You know, like Mission Impossible. Are you going to change the name to Mission Impossible? To Mission Possible? To give people more hope? I mean, where does it change? Are you going to change? Are you going to just, you know, all of a sudden, let's say you get a female bond. Are you going to change the name of the of the franchise moving forward to, to that particular? I mean, I mean, maybe so. I don't know. But or you just call it 007 instead of James Bond. It's called 007, you know. Maybe, maybe you change 007 to 0010. Where does it end? You got people complaining about Cyberpunk 2077, right? And how the lead character is male, even though, from my understanding, they've done demos with a female lead. But this is how they designed the game. I believe you can customize your own characters. Everything don't have to be led by women. We've seen failure after failure after failure of you trying to push narratives. If you seamlessly put a female in the lead of a TV show or, or movie or a video game and it works without you having to push narratives, that's fine. As long as that character is relatable and people like that character and make people want to go see that movie or buy that video game, there's nothing wrong with that. 
but to, to get upset because one out of a thousand video games are being led with a male character, being promoted with a male character, gets you in your feelings. That shows how weak-minded you are. Hollywood, I don't know if it's years of women being harassed or me too in Hollywood and they're trying to pay a penance for that because there's a lot of these producers who may have been caught up in compromising situations. So they're trying to play the social justice game in order to keep themselves out of certain situations. So they're pushing this, this narrative that women need more inclusion and we need to do more for women. They're doing this because they feel bad about their behaviors. That could be the case. You know, let me read a little bit from this right article. It says, uh, Tessa Thompson takes on her first leading role in a major blockbuster film with Men in Black International this weekend. And the actress, who has been an outspoken activist for representation and, inclus and inclusiveness in Hollywood, is hoping the industry takes notice. So there have always been women inside of the Men in Black universe. They just have never been at the forefront of any of these stories, Thompson said, uh, says of the franchise, which was originally top-lined by Will Smith and Tom Lee Jones, starting with the first film in 1997, International March, the fourth film in the Men in Black universe. Well, fine, if you want your own universe and you want to change your name, then branch off and do your own thing, but just say that it's a part of the universe you could just do something else but oh no you're promoting this film as if it's a men in black fourth installment you know so because you're doing that you shouldn't be trying to change the name what is the point of changing the name gonna do a little bit more of this my hope is that we can get to a space inside of Hollywood where it's not noteworthy that a woman should be topping a studio film. Unfortunately, it's still something that we feel we have to acknowledge and congratulate because it just happens not frequently enough. Thompson told Variety at Tuesday's night's uh, NYC premiere of Men in Black International, adding, my hope is that a film like this helps us get there. Well, we've been trying to get there for a long time, seems like. And it's not men who are who are putting this narrative out there. I think it's a lot of women who are celebrating this. Look at Captain Marvel, man. Captain Marvel, I haven't seen that film yet either. I really don't want to, even though it's part of the MCU, I, I want to ignore Captain Marvel as part of the uh, MCU. Um, it was very cringy when she was in Infinity War. I just feel like these women, these actresses are so there's so much trying to be activists. They care only about being activists and they don't care about pushing narratives out there that are true. And one of the truest things out there is that they do have opportunities. Opportunities are there for them. But you cannot make people accept you. Just like with Star, Star Wars uh, Star, and um, Star Trek. The, the Star Trek Discovery show. That's another a show that's pushing heavy you know, identity politics onto people who don't really care. Star Wars is, is doing that here and there, you know. Uh, I did like Rogue One. That's the only one of the rebooted movies that I have seen of Star Wars since uh, the early 2000s that I actually like. But the rest of them, I care less for. You're pushing your identity politics. I don't really care to see it. Even though they, they did it somewhat in Rogue One, it was done better than it has been done in other films but i think tessa thompson and all these other people who are really trying to push narratives that really doesn't make any sense don't understand their customer base and don't understand that you cannot force people to accept what you're trying to push so